then I wanted to do our homeschool room tour today. Um, I've been putting it off for literally like a month but every time I think about doing it, I'm like, well, the room's not perfect. I'm not all like done up. Um, there's dust, there's whatever. <laughs> I keep like putting it off. I've like come to terms with it and I'm like, you know what? I just need to do this video because if I keep putting it off, it's literally gonna be like halfway through the year before I even do this tour. So things aren't gonna be perfect. There might be a few things out of place. There might be a few little dust bunnies, whatever it is. There probably will be like a lullaby music in the back the whole time because my son's room is back there and he's taking a nap and he's seven months old and needs a sound machine. So that's just how it is. But I'm going to give you guys our completed homeschool slash office because this is also my husband and I's office space. Um, I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of all this. As an overview, this is the space for our homeschool. This is really where the most of our stuff is. Um, right here we've got the kids table, we've got all of the stuff. Um, and then right over here is where I store all of our supplies. Most of this stuff is completely unrelated to the kids. Um, this is where we get into our actual school stuff. So. Um, let's get started. I really wish there was more light here, but it is what it is. So back here, I just have a couple of folders. Right before when I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna do this, this, and this, I'll try and like organize it and put it in the folders to be like, okay, hey, this is what Audrey's gonna do tomorrow. Um, I don't so much do that with Everett because he's not actually schooling, he's only two and a half. So um, I'm really gonna be just doing this for my daughter who is doing like some, mostly kindergarten but some preschool work this year. This is the most fantastic invention ever. This is a um, I guess like art supplies organizer or whatever you want to call it from learning resources and it's expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's expensive as hell but it is so convenient because you can lift out each section individually. So most of the other organizers I saw you couldn't like the kids could have access to all of it or they could have access to none of it. Like I could bring down the whole organizer and they could have access to everything or I could keep it up and they could could only have what I gave them. Um, like individual like things, like giving them like a one green pencil and then two seconds later they could ask me for a red one, which was obviously not ideal. So now when we need something, say like the kids are coloring, I can bring down the whole thing of crayons and put it on their desk. If they need glue, I can just bring down the glue. If they need paint brushes, if they need pencil crayons, pencils, um, markers, whatever they need, I can just put that individually on their desk. So in here we have jumbo crayons, because keep in mind, I have a almost four year old, should be four soon after we start school, and a two and a half year old. So most of this stuff is going to be like, for toddlers, obviously you're not gonna have the same supplies if you have like middle school or high schoolers. So I have some jumbo crayons. I have some of the like little pipsqueak markers. Um, we have pencil crayons, paint brushes, um, more chunky, taller markers. Um, back here we have safety scissors. In this little one, we have dry erase markers and the erasers for the dry erase. Um, so whenever we're doing anything dry erase, this is what it is. We have glue. I need to buy a couple more of these glue sticks because the kids got into our school supplies the other day and completely ruined two of them. But I actually really love these glue sticks. They're from Crayola. The top turns into a base, like a holder for the glue stick while it's in use so you don't get glue everywhere. Um, and then in the middle we have these, uh, my first hike on Deroga. I can never pronounce that, but basically they're like the best pencil brand. But these are the my first, so they're a lot thicker for the kids to have an easier time holding on to. And then down in there we also have just a little pencil sharpener um, if they need sharpening. And yes, this one does have a hole big enough to fit those pencils. So now I think I'm just gonna go through the drawers. This top drawer here we have, this basically it just holds this thing um, and one other folder. So in this, this is our worksheet portfolio. In here I just have tons of worksheets um, for all different things. Most of these are like free printouts that I've gotten from like totschooling.net or um, keeping me and my kinders busy like just so many that I found on Pinterest and um, some I've bought off of Teachers Pay Teachers just so many different worksheets um, all in here. The only th other thing I have in here is a folder where I keep all of our coloring sheets um, that's mostly for Everett to do so basically like this is where we keep all of our loose sheets 
The second one is all of our like miscellaneous workbooks. So in here I have like some I've picked up from the dollar store. This colors and shapes is listed for kindergarten, but this is one I'm totally going to do with my two and a half year old. Um, it's definitely basic enough for him to do. Um, like I don't even know why this is listed kindergarten. Like this is more pre-K if anything, um, if not really just taught schooling because like this is way below my daughter's level. We have le letters, we have white clean alphabet from Usborne, we have pre-handwriting practice, um, we have letter sounds, that one's for Audrey, colors, that one's for Everett, um, letters, letter sticker book, number sticker book, um, like you guys get the point, we have so many, white clean alphabet, my first numbers, um, all from different brands, um, most of them for pre-K or K um, level, so these are like all of our pre-made books that I can take out on a day where like I'm feeling stumped or whatever, we can work on these. Next one um, actually looks kind of empty because um, our big thing of construction paper is upstairs, but in here I keep all of our extra paper. So construction paper, loose leaf paper, printer paper, um, this easel paper from Listen Dog, which is actually awesome. The pages don't like crumble or anything when they get too saturated with either markers or paint, which preschoolers kindergartners tend to do a ton <laughs> so it works really well but like i said this drawer looks kind of empty but normally we have our huge thing of construction paper in here which takes up the most room in this drawer is literally just my laminator and the laminating sheets i laminate a ton with having little kids to try and uh, make homeschooling more eco-friendly. If you laminate something, it can be used multiple times instead of just single use. So it ends up being a lot more eco-friendly. So I tend to laminate a lot. Um, and then this bottom drawer is really just miscellaneous. I have a lot of Ziploc bags because um, I find sometimes I need Ziploc bags to section out stuff. Um, I have an extra set of paints and this little dry erase dice. Oh, I also have like these dot label stickers down here. Like really just miscellaneous stuff. Right next to this we have our Ikea cart. Um, and in this, this is where I keep the majority of our resources. So in here, I'm gonna just haul this out quick for you guys and hopefully nothing tips over. So up top, I keep all of our English stuff. Um, middle is math and then bottom is art. So up top, we have this alphabet cookies from Learning Resources. We have um, I guess these stamp pads would technically be art, but we use them with our alphabet stamps, so that's why they're up here. Um, we have a set of sight words flashcards, um, an alphabet dry erase binder I've made um, for Audrey or Everett. Both of them could use this technically, um, but it's definitely more for Audrey. So this is just all of the letters dry erase, both upper and lowercase. Oh, I can't remember who makes this. I'll link it down below. And then behind that, we just have a Quizzit set. Um, it's like a Mickey Mouse themed one. It's a really good way to like homeschool on the go. If we have something going on, I can bring that with us and it includes all subjects. So it's kind of cool. Here on the middle row, we have all of our math stuff. Like I said, um, we have these little, these are more of like fine motor skill, but these are like little graspers. I have two pairs of those. Um, I have the Le Learning Resources Bears. I'm not gonna take these out. It's basically the multicolor, multi-shape bears. And then I have a bunch of printables, um, free printables. I can't remember, I think this is from Taught Schooling um, for counting, for color recognition. These are for both kids. I have so many of these. Um, we've got that one. Um, this is a pattern, a pattern matching one. I also have some printouts for Everett um, for colors. Um, like I said, Audrey has mastered colors long ago. So I've got these color books for him. These match the color Easter baskets, which I bought off of Teacher Pay Teachers. Um, and it also came with this little number matching thing. You guys probably can't tell what these are, but basically it's a little number matching game, chicks and eggs. So basically there's like the written number on the chick and then on the egg. Egg. Oh, I can't don't know if you guys can see but like um, on the egg there's like little dots and you have to count the dots if that makes any sense so so many so so many um, printables that I've printed out are back there and then really the only other things we have in here are our little um, 
what are these called? Hourglasses to time things. And then I have this muffin tin to be used for like sorting activities. That is all of our math stuff. Then we move on to the art down here. So down here we have all of our paints. Um, we have our Melissa and Doug spill proof paint cups. If you guys can see, it's kind of dark. Let's see if I can turn it. There we go. Um, we have our Melissa and Doug spill proof paint cups. Um, we have this little Crayola set that we've honestly never used. Um, some more Crayola washable paint. Um, I have these hands-on ergonomic crayons. What else? We have a set of chalk back there from Melissa and Doug and the eraser. Um, what else? We have um, a bunch of glitter glue. We have some of this Crayola modal magic that Audrey got in her advent calendar that I've honestly been putting off using. Um, oh, and here's a good tip. If you, um, if you don't really have a good place to paint, with your kids, uh, buy a bunch of these shower curtain liners from the dollar store and lay them down underneath. It makes a great, cheap um, spill mat for kids. It's awesome. Um, so I highly recommend it. It's only like a dollar at the dollar store and it will save your floors. So really, as you can see back there, really the only other things we have back here are, are like alongside the cart. Um, we have our easel paper pad for our easel and then right back there underneath that like mess of cords is a marker making set that we're going to do for like a color mixing activity this year that is everything so that's the majority of our resources right there so now to get back to the rest of the room um, over here we just have some overflow of books um, we have a bunch of us born readers up here um, phonics readers um, in the middle here we have some with the kids favorite characters and some lesson books um, and then down here we have just like miscellaneous books that I read for story time sometime um, saltwater joys which is a book all about where I'm from um, we have Aladdin we have um, love you forever which I rarely read because it makes me ball um, we have more Disney books um, what else we have oh this one I can read fancy Nancy so just a bunch of random books then we have my husband's desk my desk and then the rest of the homeschool stuff on my desk I'm not going to show you guys everything basically on my desk I keep my lesson plan and the record book up on top here um, and I keep like I make up our units and then in here I have my teaching binder um, so in here I keep anything that I want to keep outcomes that we need to reach so yearly outcomes is a um, thing songs that I find craft ideas so that's kind of what I keep in there then the rest of it's really my stuff obviously I'm loving drinking water today I've got two cups um, but yeah the rest of it's my stuff I have my printer which is a pretty much a necessity for homeschooling um, and like I said the rest is really my stuff up here I have two school type printables um, up here we have fruits of the spirit which I absolutely love and then this one is like an inspiring homeschool related quote for me uh, which you guys can't see because of the reflection but it says everybody is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree it will spending its whole life believing it is stupid it's an Albert Einstein quote it's amazing it really inspires me in teaching the kids and finding different ways to teach them up here I have this huge sticker which I absolutely love um, I got this off of Amazon for like $30 it's amazing it has all of the countries and continents and continents I said that weird but whatever <laughs> but and all the animals that live there um so it's really cool I absolutely love it it really makes our homeschool room it's one of my favorites like look at that just freaking fantastic I love it down here I have some more like posters I have love is um this one I absolutely love I saw this on another homeschool mom's um homeschool room tour and I had to go get it <laughs> so it's um like basically Corinthians um 1 through 13 but it's in 
like poster form for the kids. We have ABC's Disney style and we just have a like basic colors. Might as well do the rest of stuff while I'm down here. Down here I have the book, some of the books that I enjoy, like the kids enjoy looking at themselves. So I leave these on display and we have Usborn adding at the circus. All of these are Usborn except for this one actually. Um, we have adding at the circus, my first keyboard book, um, A is for Apple which is a tracing book and then Usborn lift the flap numbers. Right next to that we keep all of our puzzles and like hands-on activity stuff. These are what Everett plays with a lot of the time while I'm doing like more intense school. I guess not intense. Intense is a bad word but like um I guess just more like preoccupying school with Audrey. Um, he loves playing with the puzzles. So we have an ABC, we have numbers, we have a farm puzzle, and then we have colors. Um, and back here, this is absolutely amazing. I saw this from JDA. It is amazing. It's a magnetic um, alphabet board. The kids are obsessed with this and it really helps them learn to trace the numbers in a really fun way. Um, and it's also also reusable so it's fantastic i highly recommend it um got that off of amazon almost everything is from amazon just saying right above that we have our melissa and doug calendar um this is where we do calendar time every day we talk about the month the date the year this is the day we're starting school so i already have it set up um, and these are the days then we have season temperature weather um, any activities we might be doing today the uh, holiday that's coming up and how they feel that day back up top so up here we have just this little plastic rainbow I absolutely love it it's super cute it's mostly just for decoration um, and then up here we just have these really cheap honestly dry erase boards so if the kids wreck them I don't really care I got them from Dollar Tree one side is alphabet and lined and then the other side is just blank so yeah, we have three of those. If the kids wreck them, like I said, I can just go buy more. It's not a big deal. Right next to that, we have our easel. This is also being used as a whiteboard right now because it works good for the kids eye level from this table. Um, so this is where, if I do need to write anything on the whiteboard, this is where I'm doing it. So because I'm using this as a whiteboard, right above that, I have my whiteboard markers in here. Um, this little box is all reward stickers so we've got different ones like we've got basic teachery ones all the way to like the kids favorite characters we've got paw patrol we've got bubble guppies dora um all of blaze all the kids favorite characters in there and right above that i have this little shelf i keep one of my favorite books for like in regards to thinking and school and that's oh the thinks you can think by dr seuss and we have Hoppy Floppy's Happy Bunny Hunt. Um, Audrey and Everett love that one. It's a great color matching game, as well as like fine motor skills. Um, over here, interesting enough, right next to the stickers, we have this picture, because honestly, there was no other place in the house to put it. Um, I drew this when I was six, and um, I entered this like drawing contest through my school and I won like across the country and it was like a big deal. I didn't understand it at the time. I was just excited because I got a $200 Toys R Us gift card, of course. There's really no other place in the house to put it so it's there. Um, right here we have our My First Microscope from Educational Insights. Yeah. Um, so this, the My First range from them is absolutely fantastic. It's perfect for young kids. Um, it's very durable. It's hard plastic. It's inexpensive. So if the kids break it, it's not a big deal. Um, so I'll definitely be keeping this one until our kids get a bit older. Um, and it actually does work. So I have the microscope so far. I also want to get the binoculars and the telescope, but the microscope is actually fantastic. Um, and then right next to it, I just have a few little specimen jars from Dollar Tree. Um, and then this is kind of the start of our regular living room stuff. Um, this was actually hung up in Audrey's room, but her and Everett kept taking it down, so it's right here for now. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the little thing we have here. So up top I have this little um, pull-out drawer, kind of like a mini version of the one over there. So up here I just keep um, some miscellaneous stuff and some stuff we use every day, like our alphabet flashcards. We go over these every single day. Um, these are from Usborn, by the way. 
I have some more of these little flashcard rings, a blow up globe, <laughs> if I were to ever need that. I should probably move that to the miscellaneous drawer, honestly. And then the little holder for my little whiteboard eraser. Um, and then as you can see, maybe by the labels, um, this one is science and then this one is social. So in here, we just have anything that I've printed out for future units or little activities I've found. So in here we have this recycling kit. Um, we have basically our whole weather unit I've printed out. We're going to be doing weather first. So I've printed out all the printables for that. Um, and then we also have this little mini specimen jar. So that's really all that's in there. And then in social, same thing. We're going to be doing community helpers first thing. So I have our community helpers unit print out all the printables printed out. Here is where we keep additional resources like so many resources <laughs> anyway so up here we have our melissa and doug abacus i absolutely love this it's fantastic um for counting for um simple addition and subtraction introduction to that it's fantastic i absolutely love it um and then we have the bulk of the books for our curriculum this year i guess not curriculum but like add-on books for our curriculum so we have most of these are us born I'll, I'll admit so we have um the us born big book of planets and stars my very first book of space so those are both going to be for our space unit then we have lift the flap seasons we have um your body book so because we're doing a body unit we have um jobs people do for our community helpers unit these are two sticker books for the kids um, we have 12 months of the year, which we're going to talk about with our seasons unit. Um, we have a couple that aren't, we're not using this year particularly, um, cause they're a little too high level, but I'm going to keep them anyway. Um, we have night and day and storms and hurricanes. Um, then we have a bunch of the little people, big dream series, um, from who makes this? I don't know, but um, we're going to be going over some famous people of history, obviously not delving very deep, but kind of just introducing the kids to these people and the things that they've done. Um, so we have Marie Curry, Stephen Hawking, Maria Montessori, Coco Chanel, Mother Teresa, and Anne Frank. So we're going to be going over those. Um, we have uh, Little Acorn. We have How Do Flowers Grow? What Makes It Rain? what are stars what are germs and what is poo so those are our little i guess like add-on books this year and then down here we just have some seasonal books i actually have to collect the rest of our seasonal books from upstairs but for now we have an easter book and then two christmas books down there the main piece of our homeschool is this little table and chair set from ikea for the kids the kids love this it was super cheap 29 dollars. it came with two chairs and the table the table has like the same material as the white erase board um, or the whiteboard so you can actually dry erase on here plus what i loved about it is you can fit two pieces of paper both horizontally or vertically on here which is a real struggle with kids sized tables you wouldn't believe it would be, but it is. Um, to find a table that's wide enough to fit two pieces of paper is definitely a struggle. <laughs> and with our old table, we had a like little tykes table. It was a everyday fight of your paper's touching my paper. So this is big enough to fit uh, two pieces of paper. Obviously we're gonna have to get a bigger table once Christian's old enough, but for now this works for the space that we have. Oh, I did forget to mention, um, we have the kids art smocks here and Audrey's little backpack. This little princess backpack holds both their pairs of headphones if they ever need them. So um, that's just what's there, is their art smocks and headphones. That is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this homeschool room tour. Um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Um, make sure to go over to Instagram to comment if you guys have any suggestions or I don't know, anything that you'd like to say about our homeschool room. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.